Today class, we're going to do a lesson that's called what's a function. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to tell me what a function is. We're going to be looking at this particular standard. It says identify functions using sets of ordered pairs, tables, mappings, and graphs. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see if we can do this. First thing I would like for you to do is you're going to be watching a video for me. Okay. So uh, for those of you that are watching this video, pause the video go to another YouTube page, you'll see the link at the bottom, and watch this video and it will tell you or give you a small lesson over relations and functions and how to determine whether or not something is a function or not. Right? But we're not going to take the time to do that within this lesson. In the video you will learn about the following. You will learn what a relation is, you will learn uh, what a function is and how to determine that. You will learn how to determine if ordered pairs, a table of values, or a graph is a function. You'll learn about mapping. You'll determine what domain and range is all about and figure out what a vertical line test is. Okay, so let's just kind of go over everything what was in that video real quick. Right? So a relation is any set of ordered pairs. So if we have an ordered pair, it is part of a relation. Okay, So now, with that relation, we can now determine is the relation a function. So a function is a rule for taking each input, which is our x values in a t-chart, input value, and producing exactly one output or one y value. So if you'll notice in these two examples that we have right here, we have two t-charts basically. We have an input, which is an x value, and we have an output, which is our y values. You'll notice here our input is negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1, and it has, each one of those inputs has exactly one output, which is what we're used to in a t-chart. But you can also have t-charts where if I put in one input, I may get two outputs. Okay, like in this particular one, I put in one, well, I could get an output of negative one or a positive one, depending upon what the rule is, okay? So this first one, this one over here on the left, it is an example of a function. For each x value, okay, I have a y value, okay? So we cannot have, for our x values, we cannot have more than one x value mapped to a particular output. Like in the second example, where I have one, this one x value going to two different y values. You can't have that in a function, okay? So on the left is a function, on the right is not a function. So let's see if we can actually determine some, some ideas of functions here. Now, when we're doing this, when we're actually setting up input output tables like this, this is what we call mapping, okay? It's just mapping. So what we're trying to do with this mapping is determine, okay, is it a function based on the mapping? Because if we were to actually put this into a t-chart, okay, we could write x and y. Well, these are our x values and these are our y values. Okay, so here's our input, here's our output. Mapping is just actually drawing letters to show what input maps to what output. So are these functions? In this first one, is it a function? Okay, you've got one x value, one y value. So all of these individual x values are mapped to only one y value. So yes, this is a function. Okay, what about this one? Right, here I have zero, one, two, three and the zero is mapped to a one, the one is mapped to a two, the two is mapped to a two, the three is mapped to a four. This is also a function, okay? You can have different X values mapped to the same Y value. You just can't have one X value mapped to, to two different Y values. So this one, yes, it is a function, right? On this last one, here I have one mapped to negative one and one. I have four mapped to two and negative two. So this is not a function. Okay, so you can have more than one input going to the same output, but you cannot have an input going to multiple outputs. Okay, that makes it not a function. Now, what about this right here? Okay, and these right here, we've got one, negative one, 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 four, two, four, negative two. So it is a relation, it is a relation, but is it a function? Okay, is it a function? Okay, so in this particular one right here, okay, we look at our x values. I've got a one and a one. I've got more than one x value mapped to the same thing. So this one is not a function, okay? And you'll notice that this right here, the coordinates actually match to this mapping. So it's just another way of looking at it, okay? 
So then this one right here, you've got negative two, three, negative one, two, zero, one, one, zero. So this one is this one right up here, and it is a function. Okay, it's just now we're writing these mapping diagrams into ordered pairs. And then this one here maps to this one. Okay, zero, one, one, two, 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 three, four. Again, all we're doing is really looking at the x values, and this one would also be a function. Okay, so am I a function? So taking a look at this one right here, could we say that this is a function? And this one right here, we look at our x values. Okay, I've got a three. I've got another three. So that right there should send up a red flag. Is this one a function? Okay, this one is not a function. Okay, because we've got the same x value mapped to two different y values. So this is not a function. Okay, what about this one? This one is a mapping idea. Is this one a function? Okay, well, we've got three inputs, three, negative two, zero. We've got four outputs. Okay, but we've got one input going to two different outputs. So this is not a function, not a function. Okay. What about this one? Would this one be a function? Okay. So in this one right here, we're looking at negative two, zero, zero, negative one, three, two, three, three. Well, because of that right there, not a function. Okay, because we've got the same input going to two different outputs. So that is not a function. Okay. Well, what about a vertical line test? Well, the vertical line test, if you remembered from the, the video, what it's all about is from each point, I should be able to draw one and only one line through it. Okay, so if I take this little, this little pencil here and represent our vertical line test, so that one's good, this one's good, but that right there, it hits two points. So if it hits two points, then this is not a function, not a function. So this one over here, if we take the pencil, the vertical line, and we draw this one down, so that one's good, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good. So this one is an example of a function. The vertical line test is I be able to draw one line down through every single one of these points, okay, and only hit one and only one point, okay? And what about either one of these? Are they functions? Well, this one, if I take this vertical line as I go across, it's only hitting that line in one spot. So that is a function, function. What about this one over here? Okay, well, this one right here, if you draw this one along, well, it hits one point there, but how many points is it hitting all the way across over here? It's hitting multiple points along one x value. So this is not a function. Okay, so that's not a function. Okay, so hopefully what you've kind of looked at today as we've gone through this is we've reviewed what was part of that video that, that we watched in class, okay, and we determined that a relation is nothing but a set of ordered pairs, a function's got certain criteria to meet in order for it to be a function, okay, and uh, we've got several ways of determining whether or not it's a function, okay. We could look at ordered pairs to determine if it's a function. We could look at a table of values, or we could look at a graph to determine whether or not it's a function. If it's ordered pairs, we're looking at our x values. If each x value maps to only one y value, okay, then we're in good shape. Then it's a function. If more than one x value maps to the same y value, we're okay. It's still a function. If one x value maps to multiple y values, then it's not a function. Same thing in a table. When we're looking at that table of values, we're looking at the same thing. On a graph, we use the vertical line test to determine whether or not it's a function. Okay, we've learned what mapping is. Mapping is just looking at your inputs and your outputs. Okay, we talked about domain and range in the video. We didn't review it, but domain are your x values. Your range is your y values. Okay, so your domain okay, is the one that's important. Okay, and then the vertical line test again, is how to determine whether or not a graph is a function. So what I'd like for you to do is you're going to complete a little assignment. Okay, so I'd like for you to go to Canvas, click on the assignment link, and answer the following questions. You'll be given some questions like this. Okay, here are two sets of points. You're to determine are they a function or not. Okay, you're going to be given some 
uh, T-charts. They're horizontal, but still, same kind of thing. We're looking for our X values. If we have multiple, if we have the same X value over and over and over again, mapped to different Y values, when, then we know something about that, okay? Then you're gonna be given some graphs, and I'd like for you using the vertical line test to determine are these functions or not. And then you'll be given two mapping uh, diagrams to determine whether or not they are functions. Okay, so until the next lesson.